You've already addressed the bullpen in a trade with the Cubs earlier this offseason, acquiring Aaron Howman from them. Uh, is this, are you done with the bullpen right now, or is this just a start? Well, uh, we'll probably try to add one more guy. But, uh, you know, the, one of the benefits of, of a rough season is we were able to let a lot of our young guys pitch in, in – uh, in higher profile situations, Juan Gutierrez in particular stepped forward, Clay Zavada, his Merling Vasquez, uh, Blaine Boyer, those guys. But uh, with Chad Qualls, Aaron Heilman, Juan Gutierrez, we'd love to add one more guy who's pitched in the 7th or 8th or ninth uh, and, and had results and, uh, and build our bullpen that way. Take us up right now to the Arizona Diamondbacks general manager suite. How many people did you bring under you? How many scouts, special assistants, player development people? What is your suite set up like, and what's your game plan for the next two or three days here? Well, uh, it's funny. The first thing, as you know, is, is you sort of actually look at the square footage you got. And then, uh, um, you know, we're a big sort of dry erase board team. We're always throwing ideas up there, and we, uh, we grade them out um, and then keep a record of that. So we really uh, have debates deal by deal, um, obviously spending more time on those that are more realistic. But we... When we're, we're really going, we have about 15 or 20 people in there, a uh, combination of scouts, uh, instructors, special assistants, front office, and, uh, and we debate. And as you know, sometimes uh, uh, the best work gets done after midnight. Uh, if, if you're really on a deal, sometimes uh, that's the best time of day to really, to really close it. We're talking to Josh Burns, the general manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Josh, you're trying to get another relief pitcher. More likely you get that pitcher via trade or free agency. Probably free agency. You know, there's there's a pretty good group out there this year as free agents. Um, uh, so I think we'll go that route. You know, it's it's uh, we're always sort of very conscious of, of finding the right value in the market, but I think there's enough supply out there. We should be able to get a guy who can help us. Let me give you some names. Tell me if you have any interest. Soriano. We'll see if he's a free agent after today. Gonzalez. Uh, could be cost prohibitive. Lyon. We like Brandon Lyon. He, you know, he did a nice job for us. Uh, we offered him arbitration last year, and, and then he rejected, but we actually uh, talked about bringing him back. He had a great year with Detroit, so possibly. Rodney? Uh, possibly. Greg? Possibly. Hawkins? Possibly. Dotel? Possibly. Oliver? Uh, possibly. Bon Bon Sutton? <laughs> what about Myers. Bon Sutton? I just Smoke. think we're going to get a no. I want to no know somewhere in here, Josh. <laughs> Well, the, the first couple guys. We, Josh, uh, who are you going to sign? Just tell us straight <laughs> out. Maybe we'll let you know before we leave Indianapolis. At that podium? Sure. That'd be nice. Stop by here on the way, would okay. you? So we have it before you go live. How many suits did you bring? How many, how many, how many press conference-ready suits did you bring? Uh, zero. Zero. We, uh, we, you know, we always say we're not usually the uh, kings of the, the winter meetings. We, uh, our, our biggest deal since I've been here is getting Dan Heron, which was after the winter meetings. and uh, That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Um, so... Actually, at the winter meetings, uh, the first trade I made was with John Sherhold, so that's a good way to start, but uh, that wasn't podium-worthy.